How's it going guys? I'm your host Carbon Gaming. Welcome back to another Rise of Kingdoms Commander Guide video and today we are going to be talking about the most powerful, most broken, strongest commander inside of the game right now and that is none other than Attila, the Scourge of God and what a fitting name it is, alright? So Let's take a look at his skills first. The first skill, King of the Hunts. For the next 4 seconds, increases normal attack damage and counter attack damage up to a maximum of 30% at max level. And normal attacks have a 50% chance to reduce enemy attack by up to a maximum of 50% for 2 seconds. This effect can only trigger once every 2 seconds. So, Attila, as you all know, it's uh, he doesn't have any skill damage. All of his attacks rely on normal attack damage and... This skill is just perfect. It boosts your overall damage by up to 60%, which is crazy. Normal attack damage, you get a 30% boost. Counter attack damage, you get another 30% boost. And on top of that, there's a 50% chance for you to cut your enemy's attack in half, which is just absolutely insane. Okay, so let's move on to the next skill. The Siege of Constantinople. Not sure if that's how you pronounce it, but okay. When attacking garrisons, increases all damage dealt by up to a maximum of 5% and has a 10% chance every turn to reduce the garrison's defense by up to a maximum of 25% for 3 seconds. So the numbers here, they are not that huge, okay, for obvious reasons because Attila is already super powerful, okay. And uh, it's only a 10% chance every turn, but that being said, if you're lucky enough to get it to activate, then your Attila will be dealing some serious damage. 25% damage reduction, that's pretty crazy. Okay, 5% damage bonus, obviously not going to affect much, but you know, better than nothing. Right, next up, Honoria, okay. Skill damage against troops led by Attila is reduced by up to a maximum of 15%. Okay, so this is basically uh, to give Attila a bit more tankiness, and the skill damage dealt by his own troops is also reduced by 30%. This is not a downside at all, because Attila doesn't do any skill damage so this is basically um it doesn't nerf Attila or weaken him in any way possible okay increases cavalry units march speed by up to a maximum of 15% and attack by up to a maximum of 40% so this is pretty crazy 15% march speed is the highest that you can get for any commander inside of the game I know uh, Cao Cao has 15%, Genghis Khan has 15%, I forget who else has 15% I think was it Minamoto? I can't remember but yeah Anyways, uh, you get another cavalry attack bonus, but up to a maximum of 40%, and this is huge. 40%. Jeez. Alright, next one. Battle of the Catalonian Plains. When the army led by Attila contains only cavalry units, normal attacks have a chance to increase to his own troops or damage dealt for the next two turns. So you have a 50% chance of doing absolutely nothing. You have a 25% chance to increase all the damage dealt by up to a maximum of 50%, and you have a 25% chance to essentially double your damage when this skill reaches max level. That's insane. If you can get this to proc, your Attila will be spanking them hard with that whip of his. Really hard. <laughs> okay, and his expertise skill, the Scourge of God. Troops led by Attila are immune to silence effects, which means they cannot stop this skill from procking, which is really good, so you always get your buff. Against enemy troops with less than 50% strength, increases damage dealt by 20%. So basically, if your enemy um, cannot constantly keep their structures structures topped out above 50% then you will just absolutely demolish it with Attila and that is actually a very big part of defending against Attila which is keeping your structures constantly topped up above 50% if you want to get good trades against him of course that being said you also need to have the right commanders but yeah okay increases march speed by 50% for 3 seconds after leaving the battle so we'll go through his March speed later on. It's not completely useless, okay? In fact, it's actually pretty useful and we'll talk about that a, li a little bit later. Alright, so next thing that we want to go through is his talent trees. Alright, so the talent trees for Attila, they actually have two different talent trees, okay? One is for open field and one is for railing, though most people prefer to use him for railing, but Attila is still really, really good on the open field and for uh, stuff like Sunset Canyon. So this is your Attila open field build, okay, right here. You can see uh, for the attack tree, you've picked up all of the stuff that you normally would pick up. And on top of that, you also pick up this uh, talent, which norm 
under normal circumstances, you will never pick up for any other commander to attack talent tree. And this talent, I feel, is built specifically just for Attila because there is no other command. This talent, what it does is increases your normal attack damage but reduces your skill damage. So there is no other command in the game attack damage so there is no point in taking this because all other commanders actually focus on skill damage so uh, Attila is the only guy which you want to pick this up and you definitely want to pick this up for Attila next up conquering uh, you want to pick this up because you get a uh, counter attack damage reduction on 9% really go for the open field because Attila is one of those commanders that will get aimed down quickly uh, which brings me to my next point cavalry tree you want to pick up all of these good stuff and you want to pick up and pleasant shield which increase which decreases the skill damage that you take so that you get a little bit more survivability on the open field okay and uh, this also applies to sunset canyon if you want to use attila for your sunset canyon pairing which attila actually works surprisingly well in sunset canyon don't believe me go ahead and try it out all right next attila build uh talent tree build okay we have the rally build okay this in my opinion is probably the best tree uh when you're when you want to use attila to rally okay attack tree remains the same conquering tree you want to pick up more stuff all of these stuff that will deal extra damage and take a little bit less damage from watchtowers and all that kind of goodies and you'll be sacrificing a few points from your cavalry talent tree but that doesn't matter much because the boost you get here from rallying structures is way bigger than what you'll get here and besides this is all march speed which is completely pointless inside of a rally and then this one is um i believe it's extra damage against archers but um you probably won't face an archer garrison because if you are going to face an archer garrison chances are you're going to win anyway and uh psa for those of you who still do not know yet artemisia does not defend well against attila at all uh the few one to two reports whereby you see getting good traits it's only because the Attila rally couldn't be topped up and the Archer defense was being constantly topped up. That is literally the only time where Ar Artemisia will do well against Attila but I could say the same for every single commander and rally lead. If you can't keep your rally topped up and if your enemy is constantly keeping their defense topped up then chances are you will get a bad trade regardless of what you use. Okay so uh, on equal playing field, Artemisia does not defend well against Attila Takeda. So I think this is actually not that useful because you probably won't be facing archers much anyway. Okay, so yep. Another thing that I want to mention, even though this is an Attila guy, sort of uh, how to defend against Attila as well. Okay, so Wu Saladin actually defends well against Takeda and on top of that, against Attila, sorry. And on top of that, you can also do Attila Takeda defense against uh, Attila Takeda rally. And the third one that you can do is uh, Saladin Takeda, which has proven to work well even before the Attila nerfs. Okay, um, but of course the best one that you can go for is infantry, and that will be your uh, Charles Constantine. That is probably the best defense that you can use against Attila. But uh, you know, if you don't have those commanders, then you can use out a cavalry. Uh, defense garrison as well and it will work really well okay so now we are going to go through the pairings that you can use for Attila and of course the number one pairing they should be using for Attila is obviously Takeda Shingen okay Takeda uh, they are just a match made in heaven the golden duo I don't even know what to say but yeah these two commanders work extremely well together Takeda boosts, uh, boosts your uh, normal attack damage taken by 50% you get his expertise as well as another extra 30% damage on top of that you get a attack bonus of 40% which is insane then you get a little you get a 40% defense bonus as well you get a little bit of healing and uh you get even more tank here normal attack counter attack damage reduction by 25% skill damage reduction by 5% so these two paired together is absolutely insane so um they definitely have to go together in my opinion there's just no other way around it but if uh for some very weird reason you have attila but you do not have access to takeda okay uh which i don't think should be the case because attila is basically for all the mega spenders and everybody wants to get attila so if you have the money to go for an attila chances are you probably have a takeda as well and even if you are in a dead kingdom i will expect there would be some form of competition for uh, Attila simply because he's just so good right now and everybody wants him okay so if for some weird reason you have Attila and you do not have Takeda 
the next best pair you can go with is actually Cao Cao and why do I say Cao Cao is because um, first you get this uh, this 30% attack boost you get a bit of tankiness from his healing and uh, the main reason why you want to use Cao Cao is because of his expertise skill increases cavalry attack by 25% and this is huge for Attila because Attila is really focusing on the cavalry attack to deal as much damage as he possibly can and this is why I feel that Cao Cao will work really well with Attila as well if in the very rare scenario that you actually do not have Takeda alright and if for an even weirder reason or you, are, you belong to the 0.00001% pool whereby you have a Attila but you do not have a Cao Cao you only have another epic then go for Pelagius why do I say Pelagius is cause you get this 15% uh, to attack, 15% to defense, that's a 30% increase to his stats. And on top of that, you also get this healing skill which is really good and you'll heal up and provide your Attila with a bit more tankiness. So these two, in my opinion, are the only um, somewhat viable pairings after Takeda. Apart from these two, I don't think there's any others that will actually work well with him if you're going to rally or if you're going to open field. Now, let us go back to the point that I was talking about earlier, which is his March Speed. Take a look at this. You get 15% March Speed boost just by doing nothing. You get an extra 50% March Speed boost for 3 seconds after leaving the battle. 50% guys, keep that in mind. What if you pair him with this? Another 50% after leaving the battle. That's a total of 100% much speed boost no other commander in the game gives you that much much speed okay no other cavalry pair in the game gives you that much much speed okay that's just crazy can you imagine this have you guys gotten what i'm trying to say yet that's right up carrier Belisarius primary commander because he has the mobility talent tree and this should be the talent tree you're using should be using if you want him to be an up carrier Belisarius primary Attila secondary pick up the art get hit by the enemy and then boom you're out of there 100% march speed plus the 15% from Attila plus any extras that you have from this talent tree here which I can't remember exactly how much the full mobility talent tree gives you but it's a crazy amount of march speed guys there's no way and this is not even taking into account the possible skills that you can pop during your art carrier you can pop swift strike which gives you another 50 percent and there's just no way the enemy could keep up your march even with the 50 percent march speed debuff from the art you're getting a hundred percent march speed in return when you leave battle all right with this pairing so that's like it negates it completely negates the arcs debuff or the march speed debuff aspect of it on top of that you're getting an extra 50 percent march speed boost that's just crazy so yeah that's another pairing that you can try out of course this is exclusive to art of osiris and won't work well anywhere else i don't think you want to use it for farm killing okay so uh yeah only for art of osiris if you're the art carrier you can try out belisarius primary with an attila secondary and boom you'll be out of there in no time with the art so i hope you guys have enjoyed this video and if you have learned something be sure to give it a thumbs up and of course subscribe to this channel for more of such future content till the next time i'm your host carbon gaming peace out